Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about ginger citrus tea. Now before we get started, I want to say that you can probably buy this blend pre-packaged in a grocery store, but there is something about making your own tea from scratch that is very therapeutic. We all know that it's important for sure to know what you're putting in your body, but the scent of the fruit and the ginger coupled with the intent while making this tea is healthy for your overall well-being. Even as you top your tea off with real honey, you know for sure that you're not adding any of the nasties like artificial flavorings or colors. And the hands-on creation of your tea causes you to slow down and think about what you're going to do next. This is called intent. Intent prepares your mental awareness so that as you drink the tea, your body is in tune and it's going to try to help itself heal. By the way, do a quick Google search and look up the ways that ginger can be a benefit to you both physically and mentally. There are tons of them. Just a cup of tea, of this tea, a day has helped decrease the inflammation in my bad knee. Historically, black tea hurt my stomach, so I use green tea for a base. I use my Keurig machine because it seems like it's the perfect temperature for seeping my tea. I've learned not to pour boiling water on my tea because it makes it bitter. I like to use my thermal cup to seep my tea into. I just put the lid on it and then after my tea is done seeping, it's still hot. But I do also like this tea on ice. I keep my ginger root wrapped tightly in a saran wrap and in a container in the freezer. And when I want to use it, I just pull it out. I don't even thaw it out. And it grate and grate it on my little grater and it grates better than it does whenever it's fresh. Then when I'm finished with it, I just pop it back in the freezer. I love adding fruit to my ginger tea. Everybody knows that citrus is good for you, especially in the winter to fight off colds and flus. I don't always have fresh fruit on hand, but usually I have some that I dried myself in my dehydrator. I've always heard that drying your fruit keeps the vitamins in, in but for sure it gives you a fantastic flavor. Plus, it's so pretty to look at. Remember, always surround yourself with pleasant things. Once your tea has brewed, you need to strain your ginger out. And if it doesn't bother you, that's fine. You can leave it in. Use honey and use as much honey as you want. Always try to find local honey if you can as it provides extra benefits. Hopefully all of you know how important our bees are and you are active in protecting them or providing food for them with little to no pesticides or artificial fertilizers. Add some fruit and enjoy. Do all of you have a special tea recipe? If so, let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you all very soon in the near future. Thanks for watching my videos. Peace and love.